Hey guys, obviously you can tell it's cold outside. I got my Mad Bomber on. But today we're going to do first impressions and a walk around of the new 2021 X-Package Renegade 850. And let's get to you. Now, this is obviously not how the sled came. It was just an all black uh, X-Package. I'll probably put, I'll put up a picture for you guys so you know what it looks like before. This is a... SCS Unlimited wrap, I believe. This is the Force wrap. This is my brother's sled, it's not mine. So, um, and some things we already put on it. We got the glove box extension on it. It has, this came with it, it has the portable, forward adjustable riser. We changed the caps on the hand guards to being orange to match the wrap. And we got a link bag installed along with new color ski loops and deuce stud boy carbides i also like to add we got a straight line performance or spi ceramic silencer <laughs> X-Package Renegade is it has the new RASX front and rear suspension now that's just standard on all X-Package models and we got KYB uh, uh, KYB front and rear shocks which are also standard on the X-Package same with the forward and backwards adjustable riser I will show you that in a little bit and then we opted for inch and a half ice ripper so it actually has embedded studs in the inch and a half paddle and we figured there's about 256 of these little picks in this bad boy so hopefully we'll get some good traction with it now some of you guys may be wondering how how the wrap went on it actually goes on pretty easy obviously we're not professionals like this little lip here doesn't match up but you won't even notice it it actually goes on very easy we got the front and the side tunnel and tank they do make it to go on top of the battery cover and this tunnel piece here and hopefully we'll have an installation video on it when my 850 comes now <clears throat> obviously you guys bought an 850 you're wondering about the 850 of power 165 horse it's pretty gnarly i have some clips of my brother riding it and it is wheeling absolutely no problem <laughs> We have we do have the rear coupling block set on one to so get a little bit more weight transfer but we have not adjusted that front arm any so this front arm here is what i was talking about they actually have a little cam adjuster here so you can actually bring up or down the uh, arm and that will help uh help with either picking the skis up or down from factory they will have them so the front end will stay lower and we are debating about switching these around but since the sled stands up so easy, we might just leave it and try it before we make any further adjustments. So this is the forward position riser. It moves it back and forth. And I'll show you how this works. All you gotta do, you gotta pull this little adjuster here and you actually just gotta push it forward. As you can tell, there's four different settings. So this is all the way forward. Come on. That's the second position, the third position. And the final position so if you are do a lot of all or time type around riding this way this right now it's in line with the post and then if you're a super aggressive trail rider you can move it forward and get your wheat your weight up above the front ski now in the handling department we didn't put really any miles on the sled with the stock four inch carbides we have to use them in other applications on other sleds and they just don't do the job we have used Woody's Dooley carbides, but then we were reading on the stud boys, they're not supposed to clog up with dirt or ice, which is a bonus, and they're about half the weight. Now, the reason why weight is it was a consideration is because by re reducing the unsprung weight, your suspension doesn't have to work as hard to absorb those bumps. <laughs> So we wanted to keep that light as possible and so far they have been amazing. We were out on the lake the other day and we had the Dooley's, the Woody's Dooley's on my mom's 600D Tech and the Stud Boys on this and this outperformed those Woody's by a long shot. Another feature I like about this sled is it has multiple hand and thumb warmers. Now like on my TNT I had high 
low and off so it really didn't do me good and then on this sled i'm not sure if this is with all x packages but all these buttons light up now my sister's 2020 these buttons don't light up and honestly it kind of sucks i'm really jealous that these light up well, uh, let me start it up for you guys and kind of go over a little bit of what the new gauges are i'm not a hundred percent how to use these but this isn't the new lcd with or led gauge with stupid knob on the side which i hate in my opinion that could have done better and the gps this is just the lcd the upgraded lcd gauge since i'm a dumbass and never hit the record button now i gotta do this all over again so you got your mode and your set switch up here which controls the information here right now it says 20.9 miles on the odometer if we hit the mode button it'll start scrolling through oh my bad set button will start scrolling through trip a trip b engine hours okay now we're back to odometer okay now we have no info here so we hit the mode button we can go to settings i have no clue to do what i haven't ventured too much into it i keep pressing it then you got speed stat we got an average of eight miles an hour and a max of 106 now we haven't topped off the sled we're kind of scared to at the moment but we're still in break-in so yeah fuel status we don't have an average because we only have 20 miles an hour, 20 miles on it, but we got 7.8 mpgs on it. We got no info. And back to settings. Oh my bad. If you go to speed stat, I believe it will show you your speed while you're driving. Right now we are at 106 degrees Fahrenheit, and it does have a little scroll bar here to tell you your temperature, and it does have a clock. Now if you press your hand and thumb warmers, on the left side is your thumb warmer, it has a little scroll bar, 